Hey everybody, this is Arathas, and welcome back to Abandoned Ship as we attempt to flee the Cthulhu cult by taking to the ocean. I know, our dude didn't think this through very well, but he was in a bit of a hurry, so we gotta give him some, gotta cut him some slack. Let's go to the teeth. The teeth. Your early days as a cultist come to mind. Days spent testing the shape and strength of your newfound devotion. Racked by ex existential doubt, you threw yourself from the pinnacle like so many acolytes after you into the rocky waters below. You emerged reborn, ignorant of the legend your rite of passage would become. Coming back to your senses, you notice a body bobbing in the water. Only the most fanatical or sadistic would still force neophytes under their tutelage to prove their love for father in this way. You wish to investigate? Yes. We have to do more investigations anyway to be able to escape. Sailing closer, you see the body is utterly broken. They must have landed in the shallows, dashing themselves against the rocks. Looks like they weren't worthy of father's love after all. Damn. Yeah, father sounds like a bit of a dick, but okay. Let's head on down here. I think we have to do at least two fights. Because I don't, like, this is the only one that's locked, so I imagine we could go through any of these. Why not try to go for the locked one, right? There has to be something cool back there. A cult ship has been doggedly pursuing you for a while now. It's small but light and it's slowly gaining. Through the spyglass, you see a familiar face manning the helm and your heart sinks. Samuel's parents were some of your first initiates. And when they perished, you ensured the orphan was well looked after. Even after all these years, you imagine he still looks up to you. You remember proudly watching as he was given command of his first ship. It didn't matter that it was a raggedy workmanlike vessel. The same ship pursues you now, although he has clearly upgraded in the meantime. What does he seek? Knowing Samuel, he probably has questions. You slow the ship, allowing him to move closer. Samuel, no thanks to you, was always devout, so you're not sure what you can say that will sway him to your cause. But there is a bond there, one you might yet use to save him. He watches his ship closes, his expression unreadable. Once within hailing range, he doesn't slow. It is then you realize your sentimentality has cost you. Samuel only has retribution in his heart. He probably thinks he's redeeming your soul. You resign yourself to battle. Well, the little prick is probably not going to enjoy this, but hey, open fire, guys. You know what? You might as well, well, I guess, be prepared to repair stuff. Or we can get closer and you can man this cannon. No auto fire? Not today? Okay. Okay. I guess I got to give it its first target. That's right. Why you running, friend? I right, fine. I'll go. I'll go man this cannon. Stop shooting my ship. That's right, Samuel. Give it the target. I don't think this ship's going to hold up very well. Then again, my ship is beat all to hell right now. Eek. Nice, nice. You take that thing down. Oh, we're getting closer. Level up. Very nice. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Run. Ooh, that's perfect. Yeah, you keep blasting away at that group. Can we load grape shot up in these? I'd like that. What? Brace. I braced. They did not. Bring them down. Oh. I think you need to go there. I should have. There we go. Uh, Maybe repair some stuff? Like now? <laughs> we in trouble. Uh, okay, you know what? We need to take people off the guns. We in trouble. Ow. Go heal yourself. Man that pump. And down they go you get
Yeah, I tried to do what I could to fix that sound thing, but for whatever reason, the sound in this game tweaks the hell out every time a ship sinks, so sorry, guys. You could see the look of betrayal in Samuel's eyes. He would not surrender nor give up until you had paid for your transgression. As he fell, the look on his face said it all. Why? You can't ever remember having family and friendships were not encouraged in the cult. But Samuel was dear to you. You can't stay here. And you, as you tell the crew to forget about the salvage, you struggle to keep your voice level. Uh, I didn't want to go nowhere until we repaired his ship. Like, if you can repair anything. Oh, cool. I guess they just want to man the guns. You know what? Fine, man the guns. But I need to fix this ship. Oh, yeah, pump the water out. What is that? Is that just the wheel? I right, get up over there. Is that all the repairs you can do? Oh, we in trouble. Oh, no, we can repair that. Okay, cool. It's our mast that's all messed up. All right. I guess I could have just looked down here. This dude's talented. <laughs> you speed that up? Cool. Let's go. Our ship is so close to dead. You drop to your knees. It feels like a lightning storm inside your skull, and you sense a massive agent, ancient intelligence emerging from it. Scanning the horizon, you see an unnatural disturbance in the water, and it's approaching fast. Full speed ahead! Where's the final event? Oh my god, here he comes. No, no, no. Fuck off, Kraken. You can't avert your eyes as the royal closes the distance. Whatever it is will be upon you in mere moments. Uh, you're not best prepared to face such a beast. Fight it, off, fight it off and flee. When your maneuver bar is full, press the flee button to initiate your desperate retreat. The bar around the button will fill up. Once it's full, your ship will successfully flee the area. I am going to die. What do we do here? Oh, this is some bull. What the? F Sever the tentacles. Oh, okay. He's breaking my ship. Now flee before it attack. Do I look like I can flee? If I could flee, I would. Oh, here he goes again. Let me go. Okay, everybody get away from the edges of the ship. Get that. Get that. You need to go. Go cut that. Now. Oh, we got the maneuver bar. Run. Why aren't you fixing my ship? Oh, we are gonna die. Why you gotta be dicks? We are so ready to leave. I get it. Run. Why it got to charge twice? Holy crap. You've wounded the creature and escaped. Somehow you feel in your bones that the Kraken will need time to recuperate before it resumes the hunt. You should not dally. The Kraken needs time to recuperate. What do you mean the Kraken needs time to recuperate? Yeah, I can't fix my ship. My ship is all messed up. All right. I don't know how I can handle that. I think I need to go through a normal... 
Like, exit. Oh, I can't, can I? Son of a... I only have one more type of encounter. Oh, I am so dead. I don't think there's any getting around it. We gonna die. Your heart skips as you notice cult colors flying high in the horizon. You maintain course and speed. After all, no reason to, su to suspect you at this distance. As the minutes drag agonizingly on, the cult ship vanishes from sight completely. The crew allows themselves an extra ration of grog. Oh my god. Run! Run, dudes, run. Sail. Whatever. We needs to get gone. And please let there be a port, man. Please let there be a port. Because we have... <laughs> we have some repairs to do. Because if we end up in another map like this where I got to do multiple things, uh, we're screwed. Now that danger's passed, the crew bombard you with questions. You feel responsible and share what little you know. That creature, the cult worship it. It's part of what they call the Great Project. You refocus your efforts on reaching port as quickly as humanly possible. For their sake and yours. Ugh. Yeah, if I have to do another area like that, we are so screwed. The dull ache in your head recedes slightly, and you realize you can't remember a time without it. You feel more like yourself again, and wonder what it will take to banish the ache completely. Murdering Cthulhu cultists, of course. The charts you found in the cabins, captain's cabin show a nearby port. Land. Safe from that infernal monster. And never take to sea again. In fact, don't go to an island. Repair it an island. Get to a continent as quickly as possible. And live out your life landlocked. Unless the Kraken grows some legs, he can piss off. The arrowhead around your ship is a compass that will point to the nearest hidden point of interest. The compass will not point towards things that have been uncovered from the hot fog of war. If you follow the arrowhead now, it will take you to the nearest port. Oh, okay. Please? Yeah, that's not a big enough piece of land. Safe? Yeah, no. Probably not safe. Once the ship is docked, the crew are seemingly reluctant to part ways. After all, they would all still be prisoners of the cultists, or worse, without you. You, you suggest a farewell drink in the nearest tavern. The first round is solemn, each unable to stop dwelling on their own morbid thoughts. The drinks flow and the tension eases. As another empty tankard is banged on the table, the crew make life pledges to you. Man, I wouldn't do that. You manage to secure a cheap room with plenty of beds upstairs. Once you slept it off, you can all part ways. Your head aches more than it should and unease creeps through your body. Heavy mead is a different story to ceremonial wine. Uh, I don't think we should have another round. If we're already feeling like that and we're uneasy, let's go to bed. Sensible adult is the achievement. Tentacles grasping from every angle. No escape. They predict your every movement attracted unerringly to you like a compass to polar north. Wrapping slowly around you, they pull you inexorably down, 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 deeper and deeper. Man, I've seen enough anime to know where this is going, and I don't like it. You jolt awake, clammy, head pounding. The rum? Surely. Yet, it feels more familiar than that, more insidious. I gotta say, I ain't never had dreams about being accosted by tentacles, and I drink a lot of rum. Something within you cries out, and then so do you. An inchoate scream. Your crew stir from their bodies just as the door flies off its hinges. Two shadowed forms crossing the threshold that look like Cthulhu. In's mouth people. Fish mutants. Whatever, kill them. Luckily, none of your crew were hurt. The pain in your head subsides. The two corpses are Halifron, a nightmarish conjoining of man and sea creature. They gone? Superstitious folk tales made real. You've never seen them before. But the crew clearly never imagined they would. I imagine we would have lost a crew member or something if um, I had stayed up drinking all night. Downstairs, the innkeeper is dead. The first hint of dawn looms upon the horizon. Slip warily through the streets back to the ship. In your cabin, angry discussion rages about the Halifron while you sit silent in contemplation. You know in your heart of hearts that hiding is pointless. Land offers no haven. You say that, but fish people aren't going to survive in, like, say, Arizona or Texas. 
you know, or the Sahara, invite them to come get you. And then when they're laying on the ground, dried out and dehydrated, then you can deal with them. The cult will not rest until they have you and all free men under their yoke. This is a problem only solved by shot, steel, and willing hearts. Your best and only chance is to strike a crippling blow to the cult to kill the Kraken. Tell them what you know. The crew stop and listen intently when you speak up. You explain that the Halifron have always been out there, unseen and preying on those who stray too close to the water alone at night. Sounds like you boys need a witcher. You tell them of your headaches and how you feel there is some connection between those creatures, the Kraken and yourself. Your plan to go on the offensive to cut the head off the sea snake is met with a mixture of admiration and amusement. They are not the heroes of old, hunting mythological sea monsters. Rise to the occasion, bastards. You cannot force them to join you on what may be a suicide mission, and despite the regret, they leave. It's just you now. You have little time to prepare for your mission. Your first step is to visit the ship right before recruiting some new crew. More perhaps coin will buy greater loyalty. You sons of mother... Mm -hmm. New weapons upgrades, golden supplies found there. Repair. Oh my god, that's going to take like all my golden supplies. Your hull can only be repaired in a port. Oh, thank god. On this occasion, we have repaired your hull for free. Thank you. Purchasing weapons. To buy weapon and upgrades, you drag them onto your cur onto the correct slot on your ship. Purchase the mortar by left-clicking it onto the empty slot on your ship. When it is over the correct slot, release the mouse button to buy the weapon. Sorry about that. Had to mute the mic while I sneezed and didn't want to sneeze in your ears. Potentially blow out some eardrums. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll purchase the mortar. Damn, let me... Are you happy? I purchased the mortar. You can sell weapons and upgrades by dragging the slot on your ship into the sell box. You will get a reduced amount for selling things, as I imagine. Let's increase the number of cannons in one of our batteries. More cannons equal more damage. Well, let's do it then. I hate it when tutorials make me spend all my cash. If you want a reminder of the weapons on your ship, hover your mouse over and occupy. Yeah, okay. I feel like we need a better hull. You can buy and sell supplies. Okay, okay. Lifeboat. Crew can fleet a lifeboat when ship is destroyed. Unlocks when hull reaches zero health or water gauge is full. Okay, that's interesting. Because one of the things about this game is if your ship is destroyed, it's you basically just get picked up and you get to start over again with a new ship and everything. Your captain survives and all that. I like that. So this way you could keep your crew too. I also like the hull armor. Section upgrades. Improves the helm, recharges the maneuver bar at a greatly improved rate. I wish I had the cash. I don't. I'll, I'll check that stuff, man. Leave, let me be. <laughs> Deck reinforcement, fire resistant, hull crack resistance. All this is good. But I really like performance because it sounds like we need to run from the Kraken quite a bit. Oh, we can get a better ship. I mean, I would like me a sloop. Like, that's nice. Come on, tell me there's a, there it is. There's a frigate. Corvette, galleon, cruiser. Warship and a man of war. Can I have a man of war? I ain't got 2000 gold, but can I have a man of war? See how the Kraken handles that. Fast travel. Okay, let's return to port. You make your way to Dockside Taverns and notice a few cultists. In the midday bustle, it's easy for them to slip by unnoticed. It's harder, however, to resist slipping your dagger into one of them. Can we do it? Please? Approaching a tavern door, a hand grabs your shoulder. You pivot, primed to fight only to be faced with your former crew. Captain, these cultists seem to have tarred us with your brush. We not, might all be safer together now. Plus, be a shame if we were left out of the songs about you. They hand you a small, heavy pouch to put towards hiring an extra hand. 
you agree to meet back at the ship once you've checked for any potential recruits in the cat in the tavern i was about to say cavern that'd be kind of weird <laughs> you could dismiss current crew and hire crew in the tavern so i already have a marine where is he he's right here and i already have or where's he a gun no he's a marine because we have a gunner over here we have a repair dude here It was also scarred permanently, which is lovely. Lovely. So very lovely. A surgeon sounds good. To Jazz 2004? To Jazz. All right. I feel like I could use a uh, dedicated navigator so I can get my dude out there. Because I got such balanced stats, I might as well, right? Another gunner would be good. Because then I could keep this dude on repair duty. This dude ready to cut a bitch. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to look into it. However, that is going to have to wait till next time, seeing as I am all out of time for today. So thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more Abandoned Ship. Now, what I may do is because this is a massive game with a lot of grinding, as you can see, to try to get gold and stuff, I might play a bunch of this game in my free time and, you know, kick in for the story missions. We'll see. I got to see what, you know, we'll see how it goes. But that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. Uh, if you'd prefer to see everything I do in this game, let me know in the comments below which of those two options you'd prefer. See everything or have me do like the grindy stuff off camera. And we'll go from there. Thanks again for watching, guys.